Okay, functions and graphs. So what do we mean by a function? Well, let's say, for example, we've got an equation. Uh, let's have y is equal to 2x. Okay, so here we have an equation. So what does it mean? Well, it means that y is equal to 2 times whatever x is. So, for example, if x is 3, then y is 2 times 3, which is 6. So, we can also say that y is a function of x. We can say y is some function of x. Apologize for the bad writing. So, y is a function of x. So, what does that mean? So, it essentially means the same thing. It means that y, the value of y, depends on the value of x. So in practice, let's have a look. Say we have some values of x. Now, in this particular case, we could use any value of x, and it would always come out to a valid result. So let's uh, ignore that. I'm going to put y there. So let's give some values for x. Let's say 0, 1, 2, 3. apologize for the bad writing. So that's a 0 there. Now, if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, so y is 0. So then we can place a 0 for y. Now, if x is equal to 1, 2 times 1 is 2. So y has a value of 2. Now, if x is equal to 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so y has a value of 4. and Let's uh, 3. So if x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and y is value of 6. Now notice, really, we could have used any numbers for x. We could have used negative numbers, very small big num or very big numbers. It doesn't really matter, because this particular equation or function it will be valid for any real number of x. So we can say that the domain of x is the set of real numbers. And of course, the domain of y is the same. It's the set of real. Uh, sorry, the range, which is y, is the same. It's the set of real numbers. So remember, the domain is the set of x values, and the range is the set of y values. And depending on the function, you'll have a set of x values and a set of y values. So let's see what that looks like if we had a, a graph. So let's put in the, this is the y-axis. And let's say this is the x-axis. And let's put a few numbers in here. Let's have 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we've got the negative, so that's negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 for x. And the same things for y, you've got positive 1, positive 2, 3, 4, and negative 1 or minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So if we plot this out, if x is 0 and y is 0, then the plot, we put a little point on the origin, which is x is 0, y is 0. By the way, these things here are ordered pairs, 0, 0, 1, 2. Now, if I plot the next pair, which is x is 1, y is 2, x is 1 is here, y is 2 is this location here. So I've got another point there. If x is 2, y is 4, so here's our x is 2. And y is 4, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and it's right there, approximately. And now it's going off the graph a bit here, but we could have done negative numbers and had a value on the plot here. So for negative 1, y would be negative 2. And you can see that there is a relationship here between the points. These points all fall on a straight line. Now, I'm not going to draw the straight line because I've tried before using this mouse and it just doesn't work. So, however, if you did 
plot the points, if you join the dots and plot the line, you'll see that the line is a straight line. Uh, this means that this is a linear function or linear equation and by linear it means that the x term is in the first degree or x to the power of 1 which of course is just x. Later on we'll see uh, power 2 